In anticipation of the Deadpool Wolverine crossover movie, Xbox is releasing a Deadpool themed controller. And you know what it is? It's Deadpool's butt on the back of it. And just recently, as of the upload of this video, I saw that they're also releasing Wolverine's butt on the back of the controller too. What do we have here? It's butt controller propaganda, sexualizing men, but not women. See what I did there? This should be no big deal, right? Well, it wouldn't be except for one thing. You see, they have no problem sexualizing men and men's butts, but I recall when Stellar Blade came out, Eve's butt was a big deal. It was a big deal that they focused on the butt in the game. So let me ask you a question. Do you think Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo, Valve, any of these companies would dare release a controller featuring a woman's butt or breasts? Yes, that's wild to even consider that. And yet here we are featuring two different men's butts on two controllers and no one seems to notice the hypocrisy. I'm Fox with Real Mark Fox and this is your home for rational, reasonable, real gamers. Let's roll that intro. Yeah, he must work out. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like. Huge thanks to channel members Drunken Dwarf and Fornelius Nolan. Consider joining yourself. So why is it okay to sexualize Deadpool, a fictional male character? Why is it okay to sexualize Deadpool and put his butt on a controller, but somehow not okay to do that with a female character? Now I imagine they might sexualize an ugly female character, particularly one that's overweight to say the least, but they have no problem taking what could be considered attractive or fit men and sexualizing them to the point where they'll literally put a model of the man's buttocks on the back of a controller. Unthinkable if done for an attractive female. This is part of the DEI agenda, an inherent implicit need for women to sexualize men out of a sense of revenge, particularly feminists, as if we're getting revenge on those men for sexualizing us for all these years. But yet, you can't do the same to women. That's bad. That's wrong. That's misandrist. That's sexist. But doing the exact same thing to men? That's cool. In fact, we joke about it and have fun with it. It's it's a lighthearted concept to put a man's butt on a controller, but a woman... Oh, no, 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 no. Can't do a woman's butt. In fact, you see many examples of this. Watch a lot of popular shows today, such as Amazon's The Boys, and you'll notice it says nudity in the warnings. You think, oh, ho, here we go. But guess what? It's almost exclusively men's butts in penises. You almost never see any female nudity. That's intentional. There's a reason for that. Once again, pushing the agenda, in this case, the G of LGBTQIA+++, that being gay. Yes, viewers have noticed the plethora of men's behinds and genitals being showcased in movies and TV shows while there is little to no female nudity. And if you do see a woman naked, she's almost always ugly or obese. This is not an accident. This is very intentional, and it is part of the agenda. The woke agenda. Sexualize men, particularly in a homosexual manner, and shove it in people's faces, particularly in men's faces. And yet, viewers don't want male gay content. We've seen this time and time again. We all remember the Bros movie, which flopped hard, featuring primarily gay men, bombed at the box office. Again, the woke agenda in this case is simple. Sexualize men, desexualize women, and stigmatize, judge, and harass anyone who tries to sexualize women according to biological reality. And what's interesting is I don't see anyone else talking about this issue. I see a lot of anti-woke people out there, but they're celebrating these controllers just the same. I mean, some of them are mocking them, but I don't see anyone pointing out the hypocrisy of having a Wolverine and Deadpool butt controller, but yet it was so bad, misandrous, sexist, and awful to even have an attractive female in Stellar Blade. Where's the Stellar Blade butt controller? Where's my Stellar Blade boobs controller? Not gonna happen. It will never be done by any of these big official companies unless we turn things around, make DEI disappear, 
and go after all the variations of it they're trying to create. IND is another one I've heard of. Bridge, that's one to look up. They keep rebranding this stuff because we all know nobody wants DEI. Nobody wants ESG. Nobody wants political correctness. Nobody wants social justice in quotation marks. We don't want any of that garbage. And yet they keep shoving it in our faces, constantly changing the name so that they can rebrand it so that all the negativity associated with the old name is now gone and they have a new name in which to start fresh. But it doesn't take long before people realize exactly what it is. Woke garbage. So cheer to Eve from Stellar Blades, Botox. Mmm, the salty tears of our enemies. They hate themselves. But hey, if you're a content creator, big or small, please share with me you talking about this very issue. I'd love to see more videos on this topic. Send it to me on X, DM it to me, and at me because sometimes my DMs get cluttered. Hey, thank you so much for joining me. It's been an absolute pleasure to have you here. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, tap that notification bell icon, and consider joining the channel. It's as cheap as $1.99. And as always, my friends, for Fox sake, stay real, keep playing, and remember, Eve's butt is amazing. Fuck thing sucks! You know, I, I suddenly really do want a Stellar Blade boob controller or butt controller. I, I want both. I want a boobs and butt controller. I'd pay for both. All right, I'm out of here.